All right, guys. So today we are going to be finishing up our Alma Thomas inspired artwork. We're gonna be using some collage materials. So gluing some things on and also adding a little bit of paint to the top. So the first thing you're gonna do is decide if you are using warm colors or cold colors on the top of your artwork. You wanna pick the opposite of what you did last time. So since I picked warm colors for my background, I'm gonna be using the cold colors for the top of my painting. If you chose cold colors for your background, you would be using warm colors on top. So you want to be using the opposite this time. First, I am going to get some cold colors of these strips of paper. We're gonna be using these for our collage on top. So I am just gonna start cutting some little squares. They do not have to be all the same size. You could make some skinnier, some longer. It is up to you. I'm gonna cut all the way up my paper strip. Then I'm gonna decide which stripe I would like to glue these on. So since the purple is kind of dark, I think I'm gonna choose a light stripe so that you can really see it. So you can see the difference if I put the purple on a darker stripe like pink or red. You can't see it as well as you can on the yellow. So I'm gonna put some dots across my stripe and then a square on each one of those dots. Okay, so then I might choose one or two more cold colors for my collage. So I've got green here. I'm gonna snip up some squares. This time I might try some longer ones too. And then my last color is blue. I have not used this one yet. So I am going to choose a stripe for my blue papers. Okay, so when you're finished with this step, you should have three stripes of paper cut squares. So you do not have to do all different colors like I did. If you wanted to do all three of the same colors, like I could have done all three purple, that's okay too. So now I'm finished with my collage step. Now I'm gonna grab my cold colors of paint and I'm gonna practice painting in little dash marks just like Alma Thomas does in her artwork. So to make a dash with your paintbrush, I'm gonna actually hold my paintbrush sideways. So normally we paint kind of like this, like we're holding a pencil. This time I'm gonna hold it so the brush is going sideways. And I'm just going to paint and lift up to make little dash marks on this orange stripe. And then if you wanna try a skinnier line, so we'll do that with some green, so I have some space up here in this orange stripe, so I think it'd look cool if I added some green dashes in there. And I am trying to keep my dashes right above and below each other so that it looks more like her artwork. So now I'm gonna look for my open areas and I'm going to fill up my stripes with dashes, just like Alma Thomas. Alrighty, so when you're finished, you should have a warm or cold color background, then the opposite of the colors on the top with some collage materials, 
and practice painting with the dash marks.